Today, we're back with Predictive AI, a company we checked in with on November the 3rd, and sales were just ramping up. And since then, a lot has happened. Michael Lendy, CEO, thank you for coming back. Thanks for having me, Peter. So on November 3rd, you told me things were just ramping up. You gave us a description of the technology, your target markets, and how the technology could be used in those markets. You've had two pretty important press releases since. Tell us about them. So, you know, thanks for the opportunity. I got to tell you, I'm very excited because going into the holiday season, uh, I never expected back in April when this was just nothing but a discussion and a dream. We didn't even have back in April any tangible product called Thermal Pass. It was just a discussion with a bunch of engineers in California and England and Canada. And here we are. And, and remember, back in April, we, we still didn't understand the magnitude of the pandemic. Like we hadn't hit the real fear area yet. We didn't know what our periods were going to be, how we were going to cope. None of that. It's true. It's true. And, and we we guessed, because we didn't know, and it's funny, we're still in the same place. We guessed at that time, you know, once COVID comes and goes, we want to have something that's sustainable for fever detection and other contagions, you know, uh, just just for fever purposes in public places like schools and hospitals and stuff. And so to go into season knowing we've made our first uh, 30 sales, unit sales, to hospitals, to public schools, and to long-term care facilities, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So nine months from concept to revenue. Yeah. That's pretty and impressive. I, I got to tell you, like, you know, when I started with Zipcar in 2006 and, and the U.S. guy said, okay, we want you to do this model for us in Canada. Uh, we expect you to have some profitability in about three years because we're going to go public in about five. And both of those things actually happened. But like, Nowhere was I even close after month 10 of that to being, you know, an incredibly viable business that was thriving. Whereas here, we're, the, the conversations with banking institutions, with further schools and healthcare, uh, with governments, we're meeting with ministers in Canada, we're meeting with, with uh, different political groups uh, who can make things happen for us in the States, with schools and office buildings. We've done all kinds of POCs, and we've, we've had um, proofs of concept with professional sports teams. And, I mean, to be in this position right now, and we're not even a year old, is incredible. And what's coming in Q1 is really incredibly exciting, because 30 sales. I guess what you're selling is your thermal pass, which for the people new to the, to the story, is basically a metal frame that either could fit inside an existing door or be standalone. And it takes temperature by hitting like 28 different spots in the body and it does about one a second. So you can put 60 people a second through the frame. That's exactly, you can put 60 people, a, 60 people a minute, 60 people a minute through the frame. And, and which is great. People love that. And, they, and it takes 1200 temperature readings per second. And there are 24 thermal medical grade sensors in each unit. And this, one of the biggest distinctive competencies about why the schools in Carolina bought them from us and why the hospitals bought them from us and is because we collect data without encroaching on a person's privacy. It's not camera-based. It's completely, and it's anonymized. And if I remember correctly, the United States is forcing all Chinese-based, camera-based detection out of the United States by 2021? Uh, by this August, yeah. This coming so, August. And, and your technology is non-invasive. It doesn't touch the body. So it's been six weeks since you and I talked. Let's book again for the end of January. I'll find okay. out what you've been up to.